Well, hey there, adventurer. Then see you there. Now, I heard that you've been wanting to play a new allied race lately in World of Warcraft, yet you don't know which one to choose from. After all, there's so many. From High Mountain Torin to Dark Iron Dwarfs, why do we struggle to choose one to play as despite such a vast assortment of races? Well, it's simple, really. Because the best race hasn't even been made available yet, the Tuskar. Now, I know that some of you guys are gonna think this is just one big joke, but I couldn't be more serious. So let me explain to you why Tuskar are the best option for World of Warcraft's next allied race. Number one, a rich people with a rich culture. You wouldn't think that there is much to these giant man walruses, but that is where you are wrong. The Tuskar, despite being such a minor part of the game, actually have a very rich and colorful culture that we players have yet to fully delve into. First and foremost, they are fishermen who brave the depths of the frozen seas, hunting whale, gathering clams, and taking all manner of goodies from the ocean to decorate their villages. Kraken, Ajara, whatever this thing is, nothing that lies beneath the surface of the waves frighten these hairy fellas. In fact, they are so in communion with the ocean that they even have recruited giant local sea turtles to ride upon. Monkey. Perhaps it is their shamanistic ways, or perhaps it's their spear warrior culture that promotes such bravery in the face of the unending tides of darkness. But whatever their reason, that which frightens Kul Tiran sailors in the depths, it means little to the Tuskar fisherman as he casts out his first line of the day. Number two, Wrath of the Lich King. Wrath of the Lich King was World of Warcraft's most popular expansion, and for good reason too. You had Arthas, everybody's favorite character from Warcraft 3, taking center stage. The frozen wastes of Northrend, which made every day feel like Christmas. Amazing raids, zones, music, and of course, the Tuskar. Now imagine Wrath of the Lich King without these brave walrus men for one second, ready to greet you as you first step into the Borean Tundra or the Howling Fjord. You would see lands of terror and dread as we players sought to fight against the tyrant Lich King with no light to guide us in the darkness. Because that, that my friends, is what these Tuskar were for us back in Wrath. Despite an entire continent full of bloodthirsty undead, necromantic citadels, and whispers of an entombed old god, the Tuskar somehow not only survived, but thrived in the conditions. Putting their faith in the warrior traditions of their people, the Tuskar have managed to hold off against entire armies of Scourge, as well as what other horrors lie within the frozen wastes, ready to strike. And because these little fellas somehow managed to survive in the Arctic North, we too said to ourselves, perhaps if we follow in the light of these Tuskar, we too will survive. Number three, the definition of cozy. Maybe you're not someone that cares about warriors and war, fighting and foemen. Maybe all you want is a nice hoodie from the Nixium Corner merch store, a cup of hot chocolate, and a blazing campfire to sit beside, just like me. Now I can understand that, being the comfy elf that I am, and that's why I'm here to say that the Tuskar fit this theme perfectly. Look at their villages, made of the various hides and bones of the creatures that they fight or fish from the sea. And within these buildings, cozy fires, plenty of fish to eat, trinkets collected from the beaches of Northrend, the perfect setting for any fisherman's souls out there who just want to relax and watch the northern lights drift across the skies. The Tuskar, they might have a big warrior culture passed down to them from generations of sea explorers and spear warriors, but they've clearly not forgotten the more simple side of life. And maybe that's why they're just so joyful whenever you click on them in World of Warcraft, or why one of their signature farewells is simply to Stay warm. Number four, they're fat, and that means that they are lovable. Big guys need loving too, everybody. Unless they're pandas. They deserve the meat grinder. But the Tuskar, dude, they're just a big, chunky set of guys, all ready to embrace you with their loving arms and soft furs. D just don't let them hug you after they've been wailing. Otherwise, you're going to smell like a poop deck covered in semen, if you catch my drift. Catch these guys on a day where they celebrate a good season, when they're gathered together in family units waiting out a winter blizzard, or when they're out on patrol through the beautiful lands they call home, 
Whether it be their thick fur coats, their bouncing mustaches, or their friendly smiles, these Tuscar are a joy to behold, and you will fall in love with playing as one the moment you see their fat, blubbery asses bouncing as they run. And number five, because Tuscar are eternal virgins. Just like you! Yeah, so you and Tuscar probably have a lot in common in that neither of you have girlfriends, unlike me. The ladies love me. Right, ladies? Ladies? All right, so for some reason, there are no female Tuscars, and no one's really sure as to why. It's just tight communities of dudes gathered together singing sea shanties and drinking whale ale, which is fine and dandy, but there ain't no women around anywhere. I guess I just got lost like the Entwives, and we got to keep our eyes open for them while exploring the snows of Northrend. But if you do decide to play as a Tuscar, hey, uh, you're going to be an eternal fat virgin who always smells like fish. And that, that might not seem all that appealing, but this is definitely the race that you can probably most relate to. And isn't that worth some consideration when selecting a new race to play as? Guys? And those are my reasons why Tuscar should be the next allied race. Awesome walrus men from an amazing expansion, cozy, fat and adorable, and having the most in common with World of Warcraft's player base. Clearly, they are the best race in the game. Perfect to be a future allied race. So come on, Blizzard. Give us what we want. All right? Cool. Hit the like button, by the way, and the subscribe button. Unless you don't like Tuscar. In which case, screw you, you bitch. <laughs>